Hi there, welcome to Al Torres Studio here in Houston. Al is a photographer who I have known since about the mid 90s. He initially photographed me for publicity shots for Channel 2 when I was nominated for the American Women in Radio Television Awards. And since then, Al has continued to photograph me on both a professional and a personal level. Uh, he even photographed our wedding. And I just love his work, his creativity, his fluidity. He's just an easy photographer to work with and there's a rapport and a relationship there. So when the hair recently changed, I came back in to shoot some new photos for my YouTube video open and Al had a great suggestion. He said, you ought to do a video on having pictures taken, especially different types of photos, whether it's corporate, family, or you want to do a glam shot, walk people through how to get ready, what to look for, and how to take pictures. And I thought, Al, you are a genius. So here we are in his studios, and that's exactly what I want to do for you. I want to give you some ideas that I've learned along the way when it comes to taking pictures and really capturing the mood and the emotion, but most importantly, your authenticity. To me, there's nothing worse than having a photographer say, okay, you sit here, cross your legs, look this way, have your husband put his hand on your shoulder, okay, smile looking at the camera, it's very posed and positioned and unnatural. And for me, my favorite photos through all the years have been the candid ones, the ones that capture the emotion, the ones that capture the relationship or your flirtatiousness or your seriousness or how pensive you are. Things that, that capture a mood tend to make the best pictures. So I'd like to walk you through and show you some different examples of different scenarios that you might find yourself in. I would say probably the most common is the photo with the spouse, boyfriend, or family. And I brought my husband in for this one. We were due for new photos anyway, so timing was perfect. But what I loved about this is I channeled my husband's style in this photo in the way that I dressed. My husband loves to wear vests and, and button-down shirts. It's just his signature look. So I have a pantsuit that's a flared pant with a vest that's a tweed and I thought this would be a really fun compliment to his style and it's not too close but yet it's similar and since we're both working professionals this kind of look worked for us um, when it comes to hair and makeup the softer the better have fun with it but be natural don't overdo things don't experiment and try something new in this type of a photograph you want to look like yourself you want to look like you as a couple and how you normally present yourself but what's most important in this type of picture is really to be playful and to capture your connection with your spouse or your partner so if you have a great relationship with your photographer or you've interviewed them and you feel like they'll be able to bring that out in you, that's the key. So flirt and have fun. Don't feel like you always have to look at the camera, look at each other, play, embrace, touch each other the way that you normally would embrace each other because you want this to look as natural as possible. Make eye contact, kiss, be fun, be funny. But I tell you these will be the best pictures if you do that it's just going to capture your aura as a couple and it will remind you of that special connection that the two of you have so i say be fun and flirtatious in photographs with your partner your spouse even your children in the way that you communicate with them look at them touch them it could be a handhold it could be a little gesture or moving the hair whatever it is make it intimate make it personal make it yours so it's not just everybody look at the camera now say cheese it's really what you are in my life. So that's the first. The second one is the corporate shot. And many of us have to take professional pictures for our line of work. My rule of thumb here is makeup matte, no shimmers, no glosses, simple, professional, not overdone. Um, this again is not a time to experiment. The hair needs to be very smooth and subtle. I would say don't over tease it, don't over hairspray it. You don't want to look like a helmet head and that sometimes is the problem with women in professional photographs. We tend to overdo it because we feel like every hair needs to be in its place. Trust me, they can get rid of things in Photoshop. But let hair be soft, 
combed, natural, get it off your face so that you don't have hair covering your face in any way. And when it comes to attire, my no fail outfit for any kind of a professional shot is the classic black suit with the white shirt with the collar. To me, it reeks elegance, it reeks authority, you have command, you are respected. So uh, that's my go-to suit right there. And you've even seen me show this suit in uh, one of my videos for dressing, professional dressing and, and being versatile with the black jacket. I just love this look. I love the classic black pantsuit. Um, my makeup is matte. I don't have gloss on the lips. And it's nice to sometimes cross your arms in front of your chest. It has a very authoritative feel to it, but you don't want to look stern in the eyes. Your eyes need to be serious, but likable. And that's the message that you want to convey. And you can even smile, but you don't want the smile to be too over the top, too flirty. Just a warm, think of, I'm meeting a business, potential business partner for the first time. How would I approach them in my demeanor? How would I look at them if I shook their hand and we're trying to establish a business connection? So think about those things as you take your picture, but keep it classy, keep it conservative. I don't do jewelry. I think jewelry is a distraction. The only thing I might do is a little diamond earring or a CZ earring, nothing on the neck. Again, you want your focal point to be your face and your features, and that's it. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is really bumping it up quite a few notches from here. This is if you would like to do a photo of yourself, maybe a gift to your partner or your spouse, or maybe you've been through an extreme makeover, so to speak, and you've lost weight, you've changed your hair, you've been playing with makeup and maybe having fun with my YouTube tutorials and it's brought out something new in you. And maybe you want to capture that in uh, a photo. So this is where I say, Say, have fun be playful this is when you get to be a ham and really channel your inner, inner Marilyn Monroe Marlene Dietrich I love old Hollywood you know Rita Hayworth and and all of these actresses I just found to be so regal and elegant and classy and that's just what I like to emulate when I'm really having fun with a photograph so I take it old school and I find something that I feel is figure flattering something that I feel comfortable in um, might be a little risque but not too much I don't I don't personally like going over the top in this area but that's that's an individual choice um, but this is when you really can play tease the hair make it big, pop on a red lip or a burgundy lip, a high heel, and, and this is when you get to act and have fun in the camera. And this is where trust comes into play with the photographer. You have to have a level of trust and respect here. So the photographer may try to bring things out in you, certain poses or angles that show off the woman's body, an S curve or a back or a waist. And it's all in how you pose and position. One thing that I have learned over the years, and this holds true in television news, if you feel like you're overdoing it, it comes across just right. So this is when you need to overdo it, to really put in a lot of oomph, a lot of twists and turns in the body and, and a lot of eye contact and, and just bring some drama to the game. And I promise you, you will be blown away with the kind of photos that you'll get. You won't even believe it's you. You know, you may feel like you're channeling your favorite Hollywood starlet or model or whatever, but just be playful, have fun. I, I, I'm telling you, the more over the top you are, the happier you're going to be with this kind of look. So that's just the fun sort of boudoir experience. So that's my tip and trick for taking a new picture and a new angle with your camera and breaking things up a little bit and also having fun in a photo studio with whatever your goals are and the types of images that you're trying to create. Um, I just, you know me, you know me. I always say to be bold about things and I really encourage you to bring your game to a photo shoot. Bring your confidence, bring everything you've got and let it shine because we are all works in progress. We are all making efforts to be our best, to look our best. So why not highlight that and showcase that? And then when you look at the images from your photographer, you can say, oh my God, is that really me? And that my friends, is a cool feeling. 
So I hope you found this video very helpful. I always listen to your comments, but you know what? Nobody suggested this one. So I feel like I'm really outside the box here and bringing something new to the equation, but I'm more than happy to oblige and to offer you whatever it is that you're looking for. Uh, comments and suggestions below. And always I'm here, social media. You can follow me everywhere. I love to post and, and bring my YouTube world to you and you in and my personal life and my work life. And it's, it's an ebb and a flow. That's what we have going on here. So remember, with your fancy photo shoot and all the new looks that you're creating, may I encourage you to go out there, be bold, be blessed, and I will see you in a week. Mwah!